this section, we will learn the main research methods so as to consolidate the collection of data, documents and information. It is important to know the types of data useful for our research, bearing in mind the distinction between primary and secondary data. Primary data are those pieces of information collected first-hand by the researcher, such as through observing, recording, measuring, inspecting people, objects or events. The person who organises a survey or an interview, for example, produces primary data. Secondary data are already available before we begin our study, that is, already collected by other people, organisations or governments, as in the case of various types of documents, diaries, newspapers, official statistics and other research studies. This category also includes open data, published by governments and statistical data. Every research study needs secondary data. In part, you are already collecting and analysing them to make your research more thorough. There are different types. A research report can be a very useful secondary data source. We find research reports of this type very often for each sector or subject. Another example is academic research, which is conducted mainly by universities or research centres and published in scientific journals or as the outcome of a conference. A very simple way to search for them is to use the Google Scholar search engine. If we are studying a territory, historical documents may sometimes provide us with surprising information and data, such as the original design of a cultural asset. This type of secondary data can be found in libraries, public and private archives and museums. Looking at the past can be very interesting. On any given topic, you can find many commentaries, articles, opinions and reviews, especially through online blogs and magazines. They provide unofficial information which is useful for eliciting details that are often not found in official documents. Always compare the different sources. Even though they cannot be equated with other secondary data sources from a scientific standpoint, cultural and artistic productions can tell us about many aspects of a territory and those who live in it. A film, an exhibition, street art, a music band, a documentary can tell us a lot Try and collect this information as well. Maps are also very useful for understanding territory and therefore for adding further information to your research. Examine and compare different maps, such as official maps, tourist maps, historical maps, and also alternative or creative maps, all of which can show us the city from a different perspective. You can find a lot of information also in media archives. Many newspapers also make their historical archives available online. Otherwise, you can consult the newspaper archives in your own libraries. Remember that you can find a lot of interesting information from administrative or issued reports of various organisations, financial statements, organisation charts, press releases, news. And then there is so much more websites, online data archives, resolutions, calls, etc.